What is good all my dudes out there? Is it- Um, do I really want to keep on saying that? I really don't know. Before we get started on this video, I really just want to like say a couple things. One, I'm really sorry that I didn't get a video out uh, this past Wednesday. I have had a lot of stuff going on in my life the past couple of weeks. This has also been a very like weird time for me emotionally too, so it, it's been a lot. <laughs> but I promise you, I am still going to be making videos. I'm going to be doing everything in my power to make sure that I don't miss another upload. Yeah, so for today, Welcome to Rocks Reacts. We have got two different songs by Enna Alouette. We have Wish of a Songbird, which is an original song, and we have a cover of Godish. Before we listen to these songs, y'all know what time it is. Time to spin this fucking wheel. Yeah! Ooh, Beach and Peach. I've been getting this a lot. I need to, I need the wheel to stop doing this because I'm gonna run out. So what is W Energy? W Energy is this awesome drink mix company that got all sorts of great powdered drink mixes, shaker cups, merch, all sorts of great stuff. As far as I know, they're still doing a sale of these cups in purple and in black. They ran out of these blue ones, and once they sell out of the purple and black ones, they don't plan on making any more anime shaker cups. So if you want one of these, then you better head over to W.GG while you still got yourself a shot and get yourself one. I don't know if this is in stock right now because I haven't been on the website in a bit, but they released a stainless steel tumbler. This thing will keep your drinks insulated. It'll keep them as cold or if you're into that, as hot as you want. They recently released sample packets of some of their flavors. So if you want to try some W before you actually buy yourself a full tub, you have the opportunity to do that. I mentioned earlier that they're still selling purple and black versions of their anime shaker cup, but they are also selling that shaker cup without the anime character on it and with the W logo across the side, similar to, um, kind of similar to this cup, but instead it's the same size as the anime shaker cup, same color, and the text is in white. Why did I do all that? I'm gonna be showing it to you all on the screen. And a reminder, if you use the code ROCKSALT, R-O-X-A-L-T, at checkout, you get 10% off your entire order. W.GG, check them out. They are fucking awesome. Let's get into Wish of a Songbird. Shit. A tale yet to be told. Far away in the realms of both chaos and paradise, lived a wandering lost soul, aimlessly searching for inner peace. Huh. So is this intro just like giving a little bit of feathers. lore? The lost bird is granted a noble duty, blessed upon by the divine. Is this an allure? When seeks harmony, is obliged to mend the hearts of the many. Only through many will one find true tranquility within. And so began the journey of the lost bird. What sick. answers they seek shall unlock a new chapter. When the fuck? Okay, where did the whiny voice go? What? Whoa. Damn, Anna, what the fuck? Since when could you make your voice not sound like a prepubescent boy? Okay! Gotta be. <laughs> I 
Damn, the way that this switches vibes but still works so perfectly. Is gonna have one more switch up, isn't it? Wish of this summer. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Now that I am here, I am going to put this on my shopping list right now because I keep on forgetting this idea. Blue button. Executive decision. Blue button. It has been hit. I don't know. I'm kind of a, just a sucker for this in general. I think it started through, um, through Queen with, uh, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody. But if a song can change its vibe partway through and still sound like cohesive with the rest of the song, it's almost guaranteed that I'm going to love it. Like, that was genuinely an awesome song, and Enna really caught me by surprise. Y'all have told me that Enna has a surprisingly beautiful singing voice. I, I, w I was thinking that y'all were hyping it up a bit too much, because every time that I have watched a video with uh, Enna in it, I was just thinking, oh my god. She sounds literally like, I don't know, she sounds like a knockoff female version of Fry from Futurama. That's the only way that I can say it. Maybe another way that you could say it is a slightly older and more raspy version of Bart Simpson. That's the only way that I can describe her voice, and I don't feel like either of those really get it. But either way, like, just hearing her voice normally as she's speaking, and then hearing that just absolutely gorgeous singing voice. I, I'm still trying to process just how much she managed to catch me by surprise with that one. That was really, really cool. So now we have Godish. Uh, I don't know how to read that, so whoever can tell me what that is uh, and what the name of the artist for the original version is, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Woo! Oh my god. 
something I'm pretty sure you could tell by the way that like I was moving along with this uh, with this song more that um, this was more my style of music but the thing is I actually appreciated Wish of a Songbird much more because the thing is one that was an original song so I have to give Enna more credit for that and also uh, with that one I think that it just um it, it showed more of the talent that she actually has than this one does. Like, this one still shows a ton of talent. Like, those high notes that she hit, very, very talented. The way that she's able to stay on beat, stay on rhythm so seamlessly through those quick versions of the... Uh, not quick versions. Through those, like, quick sections of the lyrics. That is really impressive to be able to do. And one thing that I really appreciated in this song that we didn't really see a whole lot of in the other one is... The only way that I can describe it is... In certain portions of this song, she was singing very honestly. Like, you could hear, like, her speaking voice starting to come out, uh, like, while she was singing some of these lyrics. And that's something that I actually appreciate. Because I think that, like, it shows confidence and it shows, like, that you um, have practiced enough to be able to uh, hold these notes in several different tones and several different for lack of a better term, voices. This one is still really, really good, and I could see myself listening to this 
uh, just in my free time. No executive decision on this one, so if we are going to put it up to a vote, that is in the comments. Let me know if this goes on the playlist. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really loved both of these songs. I'm really hoping that like there's some more by Anna that I can listen to, and if there is, then please put them in the comments so I can listen to those other songs too. If you have any other videos that you want me to react to for Saturday's videos, uh, songs or not, put those in the comments. And if you have any games that you want me to play for Wednesday's videos, put those in the comments too. They are always open and I will try to get to each and every one of them as soon as I can. I am really, really, really sorry that I missed this part. But we have surpassed 900 subscribers on the channel, which means we are under 100 subs away from that big 1,000. We have made it over 90% of the way there, and I am getting more and more excited the more that I see this channel starting to grow and this community starting to grow. If I remember correctly, we need 92 more subscribers to reach that big 1,000. Once that happens, the public Discord server will be open. We will all be able to join that and really start building this community that I hope to build through this channel. And we will also get Raver cosplaying as an anime schoolgirl. So stay tuned. Let's get that 92. Let's get to that big 1000. We are getting really, really close to the end of the summer. I don't know if it has technically happened yet or not, but I am still very confident and I still think that we can do it. And one last thing that I just want to mention before we get to the outro. I need to figure out what I want to do for my intro now because the thing is, I don't know if I want to keep on saying it's your boy Rock Salt because like, you know... D do I do I need to explain any further? <laughs> the thing is, I'm still tempted to go with that because uh, there's Mori Kai. How do you pronounce? It? One of Callie's nicknames is uh, you know your boy, even though like she's a girl and she identifies that way. And uh, Cat will. It's an ongoing joke to call them daddy. So like, I'm thinking I could keep it to boy, but at the same time, I'm wondering if I really want to. So if you can help me out in the comments. That would be appreciated. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to join the Legion, and I will see y'all in the next video.